Hello, I am Dr. Manjanath, consultant uh, physician in uh, Manipal Hospital, Bangalore. I am working for since past 12 years in Manipal Institute. And uh, I, today I am going to talk a few words on World uh, Immunization Program. So we all know that immunization is by giving vaccine to the, uh, to the people. And uh, you know, uh, these vaccines are manufactured by microorganisms, minute microorganisms which are, con which are made into vaccine and administered into the, to, to the, given to the uh, children and adults. So we all know about the immunization program which starts from the age, from the day of birth of a child till it goes till, the, till you are living. So I am today concentrating on uh, the, the immunization. See, immunization is uh, for two things. One is for the uh, government immunization. There we are mainly concerned about the uh, cost. Next comes the efficacy and then comes the safety. Whereas for the individual is concerned, we are concerned mainly about the uh, safety and then comes the efficacy, then comes the cost. So we all, we all know the immunization, we are, uh, the routine immunization what we give is the polio, DPT, polio, hepatitis A, B, all those things and which, we, which goes up to two years, from two years we follow the expanded program of immunization where we have to cover the typhoid, cholera and uh, other meningococcal vaccines, cholera, men meningitis vaccines and uh, I mean, pneumococcal vaccines and other things. So I just want to emphasize on not on that when, uh, when we go abroad, the immunization program is always they ask us to re-immunize ourselves against diphtheria, tetanus and polio vaccines. The reason why is because they are all zero polio, zero tetanus and uh, zero diphtheria and pertussis. But here, pertussis uh, this is a disease and the, here we have a lot of other uh, uh, diphtheria, men meningitis and pertussis cases which are coming in, uh, in large numbers now. So why? Because children are immunized, adults are not immunized. So we have to give these DPT vaccines again to people who are going abroad because they have to protect us. We want to emphasize why this is not in our country. We should immunize for all adults who have not been given these uh, DPT vaccines and polio vaccines. Now polio is always almost become zero polio in our country where in many other uh, developed countries is already always it's already proved that there are no polio uh, polio uh, diseases in that country but in our country now we have become polio free but we should know that uh, what is the importance now all all these times we were giving polio vaccine that has been got some complications now we are going from oral polio to injectable polios which people are against it but we have to somehow convince them and take these polio vaccines now again when we are flying to some countries like Africa and South America, we got yellow fever. So yellow fever is very dangerous disease which we, our country doesn't have. Our people may go, oh we'll go to yellow fever, I mean we'll go to Africa and come back. They don't know what is the importance of yellow fever and how deadly it is. Because most of the time 60 to 70 percent the mortality rates are there. Suppose we get infected when we go to these countries and come back to our country and uh, cause this infection infection it's a we don't know what will happen what epidemic will spread in our country so whenever you are going to foreign countries think of the seasonal viruses running there and get vaccinated for that and go and come back safely keep our india free this is our goal thank you